short and long run difference in time is how production costs behave in the short run and then the short and long run cost curves. So I recommend watching these videos. Khan Academy is the best place for tutorials on YouTube. Do the e-textbook questions and then do quiz two and mind tab. So I recommend doing all that and concept of costs. So explicit costs are cash costs. So anything that you pay with cash, implicit costs are the costs of not taking an opportunity. So for example, if you are currently in class, the implicit cost of being in class is the missed income from working. So the cost of being in class is the missed income from working. While so profits are calculated as total revenue minus total costs. So accounting profits are total revenue minus explicit costs. So it's all cash costs that they include in accounting profit, while economic profit includes all costs. So it can be cash costs, which are explicit costs, and implicit costs, which are non-cash costs. So yeah, accounting profit is total revenue minus explicit costs, and economic profits are total revenue minus explicit costs and implicit costs. So here, the to do the explicit costs, it would be cost of labor plus rent plus cost of raw materials plus utilities. Implicit costs would be foregone entrepreneurial income plus foregone interest plus foregone wages. Total cost is explicit cost plus implicit cost. Accounting profit equals total revenue minus explicit costs. And then economic profit is total revenue minus total costs. So short run versus long run. So the Short run is a period of time that is not long enough to allow change to certain economic conditions that a decision maker may face. In the short run, inputs are fixed. It's too brief to change plant capacity and an input of certain resources, labor, raw materials may be changed in order to alter output. The long run, on the other hand, is a period of time long enough for all important information and choices to be available to a decision maker. In the long run, all inputs are variable and firms may enter or leave the market. So these are some graphs you can use here. So the total product identifies what outputs are possible using various levels of the variable input. Average product is total product divided by the number of units of variable input employed. So if two, if there are five employees working on production process that manufactures 20 units per day, then the average product of variable labor input is four units per day. The marginal product of a variable input is change in total output due to one unit change in the variable input. So, so diminishing returns, diminishing returns can be divided into three categories, diminishing total returns, which implies reduction in total product with every additional unit of input. This occurs after point A in the graph. Diminishing average returns, which refers to the portion of the APP curve after its intersection with the MPP curve. Diminishing marginal returns refers to the point where MPP curve starts to slope down and travels all the way down to the x-axis and beyond, putting it in a uh, chronological order. At first, the marginal returns start to diminish, then the average returns followed finally by the total returns. Total cost is equal to total fixed cost plus total variable costs. Average total cost is total cost divided by the number of goods produced. Average fixed cost, average fixed cost and total fixed cost divided by the level of output. Average variable cost, total variable cost divided by the number of units. Marginal cost is the cost of producing one extra unit of the good. Economies of scale is so it shows costs go down as production goes up. This economies of scale means costs go up when production goes up. Constant return scale, cost doesn't change when production goes up. The minimum efficient scale, it's most efficient, lowest cost opportunity. And this is a chart of all the of all the uh, of all the calculations. So I recommend doing the Textbook questions, do the mind top activities in quiz two. So, yeah, so here we went through a lot of how profit is calculated and a lot of calculations for economics. And this would be very useful for your business.